Man, oh man, what a beautiful day for baseball here at the Coliseum. It's the A's against the Toronto Blue Jays for the final game of this homestand. And it's right-hander Mitch Spence on the mound once again for the green and gold. And we talked about Mitch Spence being the poster child for taking advantage of opportunities, and he's got another one here. Spencer Horwitz, Danny Jensen, and Vlad Guerrero Jr. The Buffalo Bisons, including Spencer Horwitz, who has had a lot of at-bats against Spence in the minor leagues and looked like he was sitting on a first pitch cutter. Horwitz knows him well. And Spence the plate. That's lifted to center. J.J. Bladet breaks back and drifts in a few steps. One away. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., three-game hit streak. And that's a base hit up the middle for Guerrero, and Horwitz will round the bag and then put the brakes on. First and second, one out for the Jays. Well, Bo Bichette gets it on the ground. Good chance for Diaz. Flips to Schumann. Over to first. And a 4-6-3 double play ends the traffic. At the end of a half, it's Toronto nothing, and the A's are coming up. Bowden and Francis walking up the hill for the Blue Jays as we're about to get underway in the bottom of the first inning. Switch hitter batting left, Abraham Toro at the plate. Got him to chase, and he strikes out Toro. And, Dan, it will be very interesting to see how often Bowden Francis goes to that new splitter of his, and this is a good one diving down and in on Toro. So a one-out walk for J.J. Here comes Rooker. There's a ball lifted way up in the air, a glorified pop-up. Horwich is going way out there, and he made the catch. 286 for Miguel and 49 at-bats. Hit well center field. Kiermeyer going back, turns at the track, makes the catch. One walk, but that's all the damage for the A's. They leave one on, no score after one inning of work. Turner entered the game yesterday as a pinch hitter for Daniel Vogelback. Turner is starting to come around again. Turner sends one to deep left field. It's going to be off the wall on a bounce on his way to second, and he'll be in there with a leadoff double. George Springer, runner on second, no outs, top of the second. And he sends one to left, and that's dropping for a base hit. Turner had to make sure, so he'll stop at third. Runners on the corners, nobody out. No back-to-back -back hits for the Blue Jays. They had two hits in the first, but did not score. Here's Dalton Varsho. There goes Springer. Pitches up and away. They'll throw through, and Springer steals it. And is now eight for eight on the season. 3-2 pitch, and Spence does get his first man of the second. It's Dalton Varsho swinging. So now one out the infield. They've come in a little bit on the corners in Isaiah Kiner Falefa up the middle and through Turner into score Springer getting the wave and he'll come in on a big two run single by IKF and Isaiah Kiner Falefa stays hot for the Blue Jays second out. I wonder if they think or know that Spence is very slow to the plate because it looked like Kiner Falefa was getting frisky over there and he's going to go. Langoliers, another chance. The throw is there. And that will end the inning. Daz Cameron will start the bottom of the second for the Athletics. Breaking ball off the end of the bat. That's going to drop down for a leadoff single. Here's Shea Langoliers, the catcher, and he will sky one right near the plate. Jansen gets called off by Guerrero, and a good job by Vladdy. Soderstrom fists it into right field. Daz Cameron will stop at second, and Tyler Soderstrom has another hit in this series. And here comes Aledmas Diaz, who hasn't had a whole lot of opportunities. There's a high fly to left center. Kiermaier's going to make the catch. The runner is tagging, and the throw just a little bit offline. Kiermaier with a very strong arm. First pitch to Max Schumann. Number nine hitter in shortstop pops it up to first. Vladdy shielding his eyes from the sun with his glove. Falls back as he makes the catch in foul territory to end the inning. Two hits for the A's, but they leave both on base. The Bichette, Turner, and Springer. Numbers four, five, and six. A's trailing two nothing. Two runs, five hits for the Blue Jays. No runs, two hits for the A's. Roll down to short. It'll be scooped up by Schumann. Looks at the baseball. Fires to first in time, and there is one away. It's now five in a row. Six of seven retired by Mitch Spence. That swung on and missed. Down he goes. Actually fell tipped into the glove of Langoliers. The fly ball to center field. The day is right there to make the catch. Nice one, two, three, fourth inning for Spence, who's retired seven straight. And we're through three and a half. It's two nothing Blue Jays. It's on Duhar, Daz Cameron, and Shea Langoliers. Four, five, and six for the Athletics. He is and lining it down the left field line. Fair. It's cut off on the warning track by Varsha. We'll see if Anduhar tries to test it. He'll slide in safely. A leadoff double. A good start for the A's in the bottom of the fourth. High in the air to center. 
Kiermeyer now coming in and over a few steps will make the grab for the first down. And he got him to swing through a slider, two down. Check swing bouncer back to the mound. Fielded by the righty, he'll flip to first. And that's four scoreless innings in the start for Bowden Francis. It is indeed Zach Pop who made his way in from the bullpen. Four scoreless for Bowden Francis today. And now Pop coming in to face the eight, nine, and one hitters of the Oakland A's. Got him. Again, that great two seamer as he strikes out Diaz. And strikes out another one. Back to back K's. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Make it 102 strikeouts in the career of Pop, who strikes out the side, all swinging. Brent Rooker to the plate. One out, base is empty. Two nothing Blue Jays. He swings and slams with high in the air, deep left center. It's lucky number 13 for Brent Rooker. Sails it over the out of town scoreboard and into the seats. Oakland on the board. They trail two to one. This ball was absolutely torched by Brent Rooker. That is 110 off the barrel of Brent Rooker. Two to one Blue Jays now after a Brent Rooker solo home run in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mitch Spence still going and four straight one two three innings has retired 13 straight. As you can hear the roar of the crowd a wonderful catch made. Three two to Bichette. Flies one to center. Lede, a good jump on the ball, makes the catch. 14 in a row retired by the right hander. Turner goes the other way. Diving catch made by Soderstrom. Goes to the backhand and makes a wonderful snag, robbing Justin Turner of a hit. It's near Springer as he hits a little chopper up along third, charging toward gloves at second up on the run, throws first in time. 16 in a row retired by Mitch Spence. 5 3 on the put out. The lead off walk. We're going to bring up a lead Miss Diaz, that tying run at first base in Soderstrom. Looking for a knock. Well, we'll get it there. Right in the sixth gap, a lead Miss Diaz has his first hit of the afternoon. Now runners on first and second with Max Schumann coming up. Richards delivers. The bunt is down. A good bunt, maybe a hit. Scooping it up, kind of for level on to first in time. The sacrifice works. And the A's now second and third, one out for Toro. 0 oh, 2. Defensive swing. It's floated into left center. No one's going to get there. Drops down. Soderstrom scores. Diaz will score. Toro to second base. And the A's have a 3 to 2 lead. The second steal today for the Blue Jays. 3 2 Oakland. One out. Top of the eighth. A fly ball ties the game. 1 0 pitch is hit in the air. Right center field in deep. Cameron going back to the track. Makes the catch. Varsho tags. Comes in to score. And Schneider comes through with a game tying sacrifice fly. The A's closer, Mason Miller, on in relief. Top of the ninth inning. It's a 3 3 game. He's swinging a ground ball off the leg of Miller. Back behind second. Picked up by Diaz. Throws the first. And they get the runner. Slider strike three. Called frozen at the plate. Glad thought it was up. And it was out, but he's out, and that's the second out of the inning. Swung on and popped up. Playable up the third baseline. Toro coming down the line. He'll make the catch in foul territory, and it's a 1-2-3, top of the ninth for Mason Miller. Jimmy Garcia from the Dominican Republic on in relief for the Blue Jays. 3-3 game in the ninth. Garcia kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss, strike three. Let's play more baseball in Oakland. We're headed to the 10th in a 3-3 game. So the bases are loaded, and the batter is Isaiah Kiner-Falefa at a two-run single in the second. Swing and a smash. Left center field over the head of the outfielders and down on the track. Bichette scores. Clement scores. Varsho around third. Throw to the plate late. It's a bases-clearing double for Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. The Blue Jays up 6-3 to three on a five-RBI day by IKF. So Davis Schneider, the hitter, the left fielder. And it's popped up. There might be a chance. Soderstrom is collided with by one of the men in the dugout. What happened there? It's like a clothesline happened to Tyler Soderstrom. He had a perfect route to the ball. What you're going to have here is a judgment call, and it's based on interference. Tyler Soderstrom had a beat on the play. I think they got to call Schneider out. More importantly right now for the Blue Jays is you said he okay? okay, but I got to believe you call him out. That first baseman is going over there to make a play. I think Mike Kotze would have a very good argument. As he looks down and starts to see a guy coming at him, he just has to shut it down, and he doesn't even have time. There you go. Yeah, you don't run straight into the defender like that. Well, you can't run into the field of play, and essentially that's what's happening there. And that's just a byproduct. And John well, Schneider and the rest of the Blue Jays dugout are now giving an earful to the umpires. Well, what we have happening right now is guys down here on the field have
taking exception to how things have been handled, and I think, you know, you, you've got some jawing going on back and forth. Genesis Cabrera, the new pitcher on for Toronto, 6-3. The Blue Jays lead it. Schumann advances to third, and Blade comes up with one out, and he'll roll over. That'll bring home a run. Now 6-4, to four, Toronto. And a bouncer to second. Kiner Falefa again, and the Blue Jays will win it. A crazy afternoon here in Oakland.